Sir, you look familiar. What century were you born in? Oh. Um, the 16th century. Why? Aren't you the great reformer, John Calvin? Yes, I am John Calvin. Incredible. Down on earth, I took a seminary class that was all about your theology in Geneva. The Institutes of Christian Religion was like a second Bible to me. You were just a master expositor of the scriptures. I was hoping I'd run into you up here in heaven. It's such a pleasure to finally meet you, sir. It's very kind of you to say that. However, I wouldn't be surprised if you have a sudden change of mind in the next half hour. What are you talking about? You're a new one, aren't you? You lived in the 21st century and passed away in 2011. Right? Yes, I lived a full life. The Lord was good to me. It was my time. Why do you ask about this, Sir Calvin? Well, new ones like you haven't yet been initiated into the truth of the eternal doctrines, where Jesus himself reveals what his doctrinal beliefs are, and what he expected us to believe and teach while on earth. I'll bet that's what you were waiting out here for, to enter into the chamber down this hallway and finally hear from Jesus. That's exactly right, Sir Calvin. I'm the next one in line. I'm nervous, but excited to finally learn some things. I just hope I am commended and applauded as much as you were when Jesus spoke to you, ha ha ha. Sir Calvin, that was just a joke. I did not mean to make you sad. I was just too young. I was just too young to write a systematic theology. Did you know I was under 30 years of age when I wrote the Institutes of Christian Religion? Sir? I wasn't experienced enough. My theology was reactionary against the Roman Catholic Church and their focus on man's works to merit favor from God. I allowed the pendulum to swing all the way to the other side where man had no free will at all. I'm kicking myself for that big mistake. Big mistake. I didn't listen to my critics whom God put in my path to correct me. The Anabaptists were such godly people. I should have seen the aroma of Christ exuding from them. There was a lot I could have learned from them. Really? Augustine? Augustine? Why did I have such a fixation with this guy? Don't get me wrong, he's a riot up here in heaven, but his theology on earth left something to be desired. I wish he wouldn't have let Gnostic and Neoplatonic ideas affect him so much. Did you know that in my time we didn't have much access to the writings of the earliest church fathers? I didn't know that. I wish I could have gone back to look at the writings of the earlier fathers before Augustine like Justin Martyr and Ignatius where it was unanimously held that God truly desired all people to be saved and that Jesus died for everyone. I just know that it would have influenced me if I had. At least, I hope it would have. Sir Calvin? Yes. Are you telling me that you got your theology wrong while on earth? When it comes to my arguments about how God worked in salvation, such as predestination, election, and free will. I'm afraid I was wrong. I don't know what to say. Trust me, I know what you mean. I just wish my theology wouldn't have taken hold like it did. Even today, there's a Calvinist resurgence in places such as North America. If I could only send a message down to earth to tell people of my errors. I feel totally responsible. What did Jesus say when you entered the chamber and were initiated into proper doctrine? You know our Savior. I needed his mercy and grace more than ever at that time, and he did not fail to deliver. It makes me love him even more to know that even though I misrepresented him, he showed me incredible compassion. He did give me kudos on my work on the Trinity, by the way. Well, this has been quite a learning experience, Sir Calvin. Kind of like my medical school training on earth. As Jesus forgave you and still welcomed you, I see no reason why we can't be friends up here. That certainly means a lot. So, you must have been a doctor? Yes, I practiced for 20 years and then became a pulmonary professor. 
You haven't by any chance run into Michael Servetus, have you? You mean the guy who first described the function of pulmonary circulation? and was treated not so nicely in Geneva at the end of his life. That's the guy. I haven't seen him yet. I know that a bunch of us pulmonologists plan on a reunion of sorts. If you do see him, let him know I'd like to take him out for lunch. On me. I will certainly do that. Well, it looks like it's your turn. Enjoy the initiation. You'll experience a newfound appreciation for our savior. I look forward to meeting up again when I'm done. It's been an honor.